has been always asked by Muslims and non-Muslims that if everything is due to Allah's will, then where is the test? It means that everything is already planned. Everything is already done deal. It's all written. There's nothing you can do except go through the motions that are planned for you. It is in fact a very important part of Islam to believe in Qadr, the predestination. But how do we believe in it? How do we understand it? In order to have a better knowledge of Qadr, we need to keep four things in our minds. One, the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all-encompassing. This is to believe that Allah knows all things, general and specific, past, present, future. Allah the Most High, He says, وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا هُوْ And with Allah are the keys to the unseen. None possesses them, none knows of them except Him. وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ and he knows everything in land and at sea. That's general knowledge. وَمَا تَسْقُطُ مِنْ وَرَقَةٍ إِلَّا يَعْلَمُهَا And there's not a leaf that falls except that he knows about it. That's specific knowledge. وَلَا حَبَّةٍ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ الْأَرْضِ And there's not a seed in the darknesses of the earth. Meaning, imagine a seed in the middle of the night, under the darkness of the ocean, under the darkness of the mud of the ocean, darknesses. Except that he knows about it. وَلَا رَطُبٍ وَلَا يَابِسٍ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مُبِينٍ There's nothing dry, nothing wet, except that it's already in a book clearly determined. So the knowledge of Allah is all-encompassing. يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ Ayatul Kursi, right? Surah Al-Baqarah. He knows what's between their hands and what is behind them. Between their hands and what they're seeing right now, the present. And what's behind them, what they don't know about, what's yet to come, the future. Two. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts our decisions in our destiny. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the eternal knowledge. He knows each and everything from the beginning to the end of this world and hereafter. The seen and the unseen. When we say his knowledge covers everything, then it's obvious that he knows our decisions too. So when you choose to do this or that, whose choice was it? Yours. Yeah, but Allah already knew the choices you would make ahead of time. And then he allows you to go through this scenario called this life. So he put your own decisions and your destiny. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <laughs> In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if we send them back to the world, they will revert to what they were forbidden. It means that their decision would be the same and it would not change. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exactly knew before their creation too. So he put their own decisions and their destinies. 3. Allah gave us the guidance and the power of intellect. Okay, you don't know your destiny, but instead you've been given the guidance, the Quran, the Sunnah, which distinguish the good from the evil. Not only the guidance, but the power of intellect too. He tells you in the Quran that this life is nothing but frivolity. It is nothing. This is not the real life. But for you and I, this temporary life that we live in here, this few years that we spend stomping around on his earth, is actually the proving ground for us. So he gave you each and everything. Where's the unjust? Where's the unjust? Actually, there is just, and you cannot blame your Lord. If you do wrong, it's your own fault. 4. We can't change the destiny. We only have choices. For us, it is impossible to change our destiny. We can only decide to select one option among many. You're making choices. It's being offered to you X or Y, and you're choosing. A or B, and you're choosing. One or two, and you're choosing. You're constantly making choices but you never really have control over the situation. You say, for instance, tomorrow, 
I will go to work and I will take the train. But you don't really know that because you can't control. You can't control the train is going to be there on time or the train will even run at all. Maybe it will rain real, real hard and they'll shut the trains down. Or maybe you won't even wake up. Maybe you'll oversleep. You'll sleep all day. Or maybe you won't wake up at all. Maybe you'll die in your sleep tonight. And due to that decision, we would be given reward or punishment. So the test is based on our decisions, not our destiny. Only Allah can change our destiny, and He looks to our intentions, which are behind our decisions or our deeds. As it's said, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَاتِ Indeed, the acts are judged due to intentions behind them. So sometimes He changes our bad destiny to good, if our niya is good. Or sometimes he changes a bad destiny if we make dua, which is a gain from good niya. Therefore, we should be careful on our decisions. He knows what he made, and it's up to him. He created you, but you always have that choice. Choose now. Choose right now.